morning, everyone. My name is Brian Yule, and I'm the Master Superintendent at Offlands Golf Club. One of the toughest challenges golf course superintendents have is managing turf under environmental stressful conditions. In this case, we have a golf green surrounded by Gary Oak trees that limits air movement and sun and also has restriction on other environmental considerations. One of our challenges is dealing with turf grass fungus. When we think about turf grass fungus, we work with what's called the disease triangle, where we need to have three considerations in place for disease in order to impact turf conditions. One is the host. Here we deal with annual bluegrass on our golf greens and fairways and tees. The second is environmental conditions, moisture, limited sun, also environmental conditions such as low mowing height. Here is an example. You can see we have some anthracnose, anthracnose foliar blight, and it causes some serious turf decline in the green that's cut at a tenth of an inch. But as we pan over to the collar here, at three-eighths of an inch, there's no disease at all, even though it's just literally four feet away. So dealing with these environmental stressors can be a challenge for superintendents. The third thing that we need is a causal agent. In this case, it's anthracnose foliar blight. Anthracnose foliar blight is a summertime disease. It's usually to do with low fertility, turf under stress. So when you look at a golf green, we're mowing it below a tenth of an inch. We're keeping lean amounts of moisture on it to provide firm greens. And then we also have to top dress every couple of weeks to have firm greens. These stressors can induce anthracnose. Anthracnose foliar blight is similar to other fungus. They produce spores. In this case, anthracnose produces a spore called a cervoli, and this a cervoli spore lays dormant in the soil. When conditions are right, these spores can proliferate and start to grow. So when we apply a fungicide, we actually don't kill the population. We reduce the population to a manageable level that we're not causing turf decline. Now that we've controlled the fungus and applied fertilizer, the final step is to speed up the recovery process. We're going to use a traditional aerator with numerous small tines, about one eighth inch in diameter. There are solid tines that will punch tiny little holes into the profile and allow air and water to move through the profile and speed up the recovery process. Happy golfing, everyone. Mm -hmm.